Hello everyone, welcome back to Pommy and Oz. Hope you're all doing absolutely awesome. We're on Tuesday, we're on the next wave of five and we're starting off with Hugh Bond. So if you are new around here, please drop a like, please drop a subscribe. Smashing out the likes at the moment really just help the channel out and we've put a lot of work into this. So it does mean the world you can go a step further as well, becoming a member of the channel. So that would be grouse. And without any further ado, let's get stuck into him. So we're looking at here... The legend that is Mr. Hugh Bond, um, a very, very accomplished player and kind of come a bit late to the party, playing for GMV Rebels, as we know. Um, the 12 games, 20.1 touches, 2.6 marks, staggering nine tackles, 3.3 inside 50s, 1.8 rebound 50s, 0.3 goals a game. And... A medium-type build midfielder who really can find the ball. Real specialist from the stoppages, do you know what I mean, as well. And he's got a really solid engine. He, he loves, as well, as you can see, by the tackle pressure, which is absolutely insane. A real, real animal-type player. And a kind of player that, if you are drafting him, you may be looking at, you know, that kind of tagging role or looking in that avenue. And probably needs to sharpen up his kicking and his, his disposal can be a bit loose at the times. But his ability to track and be hungry would be someone that, you know, in the later picks particularly may look at this as some kind of project. We've seen the success of teams deploying players like Mitch Robinson, Matt DeBoer and things who really can add that layer. And he's definitely got a lot of the things that you look for as a recruiter in the terms of personal development when you're looking at that and you're thinking, right, well, OK, he's got... The basics down pat, let's add the layers, but comes from a decent academy as well and had a really good year and will be one that you'll look at at the combine for these little incidentals, which may see him go up the rank. Um, skill set seven, good boundaries, like we say. A little bit of upside. I don't see this guy as a prolific damaging type player in the AFL, and I think he's got a lot of work to do, as you can see there, the year one ready. Could he play? Maybe for a weaker team. You know, like your Norths and your Essendons, this would be someone that would really suit them and you could see him getting game time. But genuinely, with these type of players, you want to be able to be, build them in. Liam Stocker would be another player that kind of fits the bill in the terms of he's got them similar facets. Hungry, he's is a predator in, in the middle, really tracks his man well, some real strong bumps. He loves that physicality contest. You want to be able to build him in. I think he will be picked up, and I think it'll be about the 40s. I think he'll be looking at you know the third round, early third round. You never know, late second round, if someone sees the project. But a really, really solid player, and one that I want you to all watch out for, because this could be one of them little smokies. This is one of them ones that can go either way. It could be like, if you pick him up at 42, could be like the best pickup of the draft in the terms of where it is. So, a guy that's got some really good fundamentals, and a guy that I'm quite excited about. So, look out for Hugh Bond, really solid player. And that concludes it. Let me know what you think about him in the comments. Is he someone that your club's looking at? Does he fit the bill? Really exciting little guy, kind of player there, though, for you. And until next time, palm out.